Okay, so what I'm digging with this connection, and this is going to be a brief reading off top, which is letting you all know. But what I'm digging with this connection right here, this was a very intense, passionate connection. And you both felt the same feelings. Like when you were around each other, you both felt this energy that you were so drawn to that you never felt before. Like nobody has never came uh, in your presence and uh, you know, giving you this energy that this other person has given you and you both pick up on it. Like you both know, but somewhere along the line, things became a little too heated and emotions and, uh, things of that nature, uh, became overwhelming for somebody. And it could have been both of you all, but things were said out of anger and past hurt that you really didn't mean. But you both been holding it inside and somebody might have said something that they really didn't truly mean at that time. But they were heated and mad. And like I said, with this connection being so intense and the chemistry being on point, you both trigger each other. You don't do it intentionally, but unconsciously you trigger one, one another because they are you and you are them. They have a piece of your soul. You have a piece of their soul. So you both know and you don't consciously do it. I do feel like one person is awakened within this connection and the other person is still asleep somewhat. Like they're not fully awakened. But you bring out their biggest insecurities. You bring those insecurities to surface and you don't intentionally do so, but you do it. And they run. They run away from that. That's how I know that they're not healed. And you may chase them, but I do feel like you have be you begin to become exhausted from chasing them. And so you bagged off and now they're wondering, like this person is constantly in their head. They're trapped in their thoughts and their feelings. And they wish they could have been in compliance with the connection and in compliance with you and they wish they could have been submissive to you but they get so trapped in their old belief system like what well, work with their old relationships don't work with you and they're trying to figure that out and they just have a lot of self-sabotaging behavior that they need to heal themselves from so that's why the universe allowed them to run because if not then you know, it, it'll really be kind of chaotic. It'll be beautiful and chaotic, like, like a roller coaster ride until this person becomes fully awakened until they become fully aware and conscious of the reality of this connection. Like they allow their thoughts to control them. But right now they miss, they miss every single moment that you guys spent together. And I see right here with the Six of Cups, they're reminiscing about, you know, the times y'all spent together. They're re reminiscing about the laughter, you know, the connection, the chemistry, the bond that you guys have. Like, you bonded instantly. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, the Knight of Wands is just a passionate connection. And right now, they're thinking about you. You're constantly on their mind with the King of Cups. That You know, look at how he's sad. And, you know, he's kind of in his feelings. He or she, male or female, and they're they're fighting it. Like they're trying to overcome whatever they're whatever it is, they trying to overcome something. And it can't be you because it's no way that they can even overcome this connection. They can, but they can never find nobody like you. You are them, they are you. Everybody else will be either karmics or soulmates. What you guys have is a twin flame connection. You only get one twin flame. Your passion ignites. That's what I'm saying. Some of these twin flames connections, when they can be so intense, it can be so intense. And so sometimes they don't work. They come to mirror the other person, to teach that other person a lesson. And see, this it says, when it comes to matters of the heart, there's no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. And that is the purpose of these twin flame connections. Some people marry their twin flames. Some people just walk away from their twin flames when they learn a lesson. But it's like a connection of a lifetime. You know what I'm saying? And to actually meet your twin flame is beautiful as well. You know, with the page of wands, I just see a lot of passion.
It just screams twin flame, you know, but this person has a lot of growing to do. Like you're awakened. One person in this connection is awakened. The other person is told is sleep. Look, he's in suspense right now. You know, like it's a beautiful connection, but where, you know, where will it lead to? And sometimes some people do withdraw and, 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 and they chose not to deal with the twin flame because if they, if they're going through some type of addiction, if they're going through some type of self-sabotaging behavior that can run you away or that can hurt you, I mean, then it's not worth your happiness. Like this person may have been indecisive and they're wanting you to forgive them for their indecisiveness because they weren't in compliance at that point of time. But now they've been out here, they've been to other people, they've been seeing other people, sleeping around with other people. And it just, it, nothing, everything, like I'll just read to you some of what they're saying to you. I feel you leaving me behind. Like I said, you stopped chasing this person. You was like, fuck it. I'm not chasing your ass no more. I'm sick and tired of this. You running away from me and you know I'm the motherfucker that you really truly want. But you, your ass still running. Like we both feel it. You're saying like we both feel this. You feel it. You know, I know how you really feel about me. You know how this person really feel about you. They're, when they come around you, they, they, they can't hold it. They can't hide it. Even though that they try. See, they want to tell you how, how they feel. That's how I know that they haven't, they've been hold, withholding and withdrawing and being withdrawn. They might also try to be aloof sometimes, like they don't care. That's just a cover up because they care too much. And it scares the fuck out of them because they don't know what's going on. All they know is you're nothing like their past. You're nothing like nobody that they ever met before. And they look for you everywhere. They want you. Their higher selves want you. They just have to get in tune with their higher selves. And now, you know, you was like, man, I'm tired of these motherfucking games that you're playing. Like, you can go and play these games with somebody else. Like, you know that you're a good person and you know you're capable of giving unconditional love. And I do feel like this person unconsciously do love you unconditionally. They don't know how to tell you. Like, this person really... uh. This person is 